We already know that the idiotic Democrats who have been providing cover for Joe Biden, gaslighting the American people about his cognitive decline, um, are certainly helping Republicans. Republicans want Biden to stay in the race. They will be attacked, by the way, in various political ads if they continue to provide cover for Biden. And to be sure, some of those political ads have already been made. And now we're hearing that the House Oversight Committee, led by Republican lawmaker James Comer, have begun subpoenaing White House staffers to get some answers about Biden's mental health, about his health overall. Now, are they doing this because they're genuinely concerned about Biden? I mean, that's laughable, of course. No, they're doing it because they want to milk the cognitive decline as best they can to increase their chances of taking control, not only of the executive branch with Donald Trump becoming president again, but also to ensure that Republican candidates in congressional races defeat Democrats. And so yeah, they're gonna milk this, they're gonna milk it for all it's worth. And you're seeing it play out right now with the latest news about this subpoena. And so according to Axios, Oversight Committee, the Oversight Committee chaired by James Comer, issued subpoenas to First Lady Jill Biden's top aide, Anthony Bernal, Deputy Chief of Staff, Annie Tomasini, and Senior Advisor, Ashley Williams. Now, will they follow through with the subpoena? I, I have no idea how that's gonna play out. But what the House Oversight Committee wants is a hearing. As we all know, uh, congressional lawmakers on both sides of the political aisle are less interested in legislating and more interested in holding hearings for political purposes. And that's what the House Oversight Committee is doing here. It's election season. Again, they're gonna milk this issue as much as they possibly can. So this has become a, a, just an albatross around the necks of the Democratic Party and members of the Democratic Party. And they're just gonna, for the most part, privately whine about it, but publicly pretend like everything's okay and that Biden's our guy and we're gonna stick by him no matter what. Insane, Comer stated in the letters to those individuals who were subpoenaed that he is concerned, but Mostly he says that he's concerned that they've taken it upon themselves to run the country while the president cannot. And uh, honestly, I am personally concerned about that myself because I, 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 I know that this is a representative democracy. I know that you elect the president, the person you prefer who then appoints people, I get that. But there are decisions that lie with the chief. Like the, the the chief executive of the country, okay, the president of the United States, and a lot of those decisions have to do with foreign policy, military decisions. I am not comfortable with people like Anthony Blinken making those decisions, okay? I'm just not. And I look at what's happening in Gaza right now, and it should worry every single Democrat that this war is playing out in Gaza. We're sending tens of billions of dollars to Israel as this war plays out in Gaza. We're sending hundreds of billions of dollars to Ukraine. Who's making these decisions? Is it Joe Biden? I have no idea, but it does not inspire confidence. At least it doesn't inspire confidence if you refuse to be a partisan hack and are more interested in the future of the country and you're more interested in ensuring that we have an executive branch with a leader who can think straight. It's, this is just all so insane. And obviously, again, I wanna reiterate, Republicans aren't doing this because they're concerned about Biden's health. They're doing it because they want to exploit Biden's condition for their own political purposes. And that's exactly what they should be doing as Biden's political opponents. You might hate it, but this is all predictable. All of it is predictable. And they're already attacking Democrats who have gone on the record to provide cover for Biden. Here's one of the examples. Everything we have to do with. Uh, what would you have Joe Biden do to make the case that he's not an elderly, well meaning gentleman? People are going to see it in the campaign. No question he's prepared to do this job today and would be where he reelected. I have a lot of confidence in his leadership. I have a lot of confidence in his leadership. No question he's prepared to do this job today. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together, we can accomplish anything. 
Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. Well, Bob Casey, I hope it was worth it. Because now Bob Casey, Democrat running in Congress, obviously getting attacked for lying to voters about Biden's condition. Some Democratic voters are gonna vote for Biden no matter what. Not all of them though. And again, elections come down to swing voters, independent voters. And they don't have this ridiculous loyalty to one party or the other. And they're not going to be persuaded by some of the arguments that we're hearing from the Democratic side. Where they're just pretending like we should ignore the fact that the polls indicate Biden's gonna lose to Trump while they fear monger about Trump dismantling our democratic process. Well, if you're worried about Donald Trump dismantling our democratic process, you would try to prevent him from winning the election. The way you do that is ensuring that the strongest possible Democrat runs against him. We're not seeing that right now. We're not even headed in that direction right now. Some are arguing that no, Biden's days are definitely numbered. He's eventually gonna drop out. I'm not sure. And I think it's important to let you guys know that I'm not sure rather than just make a declarative prediction about what the future holds. Right now, things are not looking good for Democrats and this is all their own making. Thanks for watching the video guys. We also love it if you hit the join button below because that makes you a member and members allow us to be independent, honest. We could be as progressive as we want, no corporate media influence and that's all because of you guys. We love doing the show with our members. Hit the join button, become one of the Young Turks.